Today, we will be looking at finding perimeter. I'm your presenter, Sheldon Anderson. Our objectives for this lesson will be to define perimeter, to identify places in the environment where the concept of perimeter is used, to derive a formula for finding perimeter of a square and a rectangle, and also to calculate perimeter using the derived formula. Or formula. Also, let us look at a possible definition for perimeter. Perimeter is a total distance around a given object or shape. It can be found by adding up all the sides that go around the shape. Let's look at some real life applications. So you are fencing a garden or a plot of land, or in architecture or construction generally, and also in circumference, uh, you're finding circumference of a car, but we can look at it in a general classroom setting. Let's look at an example. Perimeter of a square. A square has four equal sides. And if one side were to be called length, let's examine how we would find the perimeter of this. So that would be perimeter equals length plus length plus length plus length. And since we have four lengths, the perimeter really would be four times length. Let's look at an example of a square. If one side of a square is five centimeters, clearly all the sides would be five centimeters. And so, in adding up all the sides, we would have four five centimeters, which would be perimeter equals five centimeters plus five centimeters plus five centimeters plus five centimeters, which in fact is us four length, which is four times five centimeters. And that will give us a result of 20 centimeters. Let's look at finding the perimeter of a rectangle. What do we know about a rectangle? If we recall, a rectangle has opposite sides being equal and parallel. So we could have length and width. But if opposite sides are equal and parallel, how many lengths would we have? And you are correct, two lengths. How many width do you think we would have? You are also correct, two width. And so perimeter would equal length plus length plus length I'm sorry, length plus width plus length plus width, which really would be two times length plus two times width. Let's look at a practical example. A rectangle of length 10 centimeter and width 5 centimeter. How do we find the perimeter of this plane shape? We know that the opposite sides are equal, so we have two lengths and we have two width. From the formula we have derived, perimeter. Before we go to the formula, let's look at it. It would be 10 centimeter plus 5 centimeter plus 10 centimeter plus 5 centimeter. Or we could say perimeter is equal 2 times the length, which is 10 centimeter, plus 2 times the width, which is 5 centimeter. And that would give us a result of 30 centimeters. Thank you for viewing and listening. I hope you have learned something. And you can always visit me on www.clickonmat.bibli.com